Hello there! Hopefully you're doing fantastic. It's meteorologist Brian Ivey. Let's have ourselves a wonderful snow season. It is good to be back here on behalf of Snowplow News. Let's start things off very dry across portions of the middle of the country. Significant on the drought monitor also across the west. And this has been one of those periods of driest conditions over the last 50 plus years. So we need rain big time. That's for sure. We're going to have some beneficial rain in spots. We're also going to be cranking out the heat, relatively speaking. But is this something that's going to last more than a few days? Are we talking a week plus or, or no? And with a front coming, could that change a lot of things further east? Then we'll look back to the west to see those signs of winter. And we are going to be talking about a little bit of the winter forecast and what a third year La Nina possibly means. Triple dip. We'll talk about that just in a little bit. Let's get right to the forecast. Here with the future cast, you got snow out west, not much going on across the east. This continues to rotate around and form a system. You're gonna have a lot of rain coming in the lower elevations and snow, lower elevations than normal for this time of year, but certainly a lot of snow in the higher elevations. There's your big system, could have some strong storms across the central and southern US. This will march through as we go throughout your Friday through the weekend period off towards the east. So how does that rainfall add up? And where into those beneficial areas do you see it? You see a lot out west, higher terrain of the Sierra Nevadas into the Rockies. And then again, you're going to have a lot of snow in those higher elevations. So that's going to be moisture that can melt eventually. But here's your rain further off towards the central U.S., Iowa, Wisconsin, down in towards the Mississippi River Valley, and then spreading into the Ohio Valley in the northeast a little bit as well. So a lot of the country seeing much more in the way of some precipitation than we've seen recently that's going out all the way throughout the next week or so that's some pretty significant moisture out west and again a lot of this does accumulate as snowfall into like idaho and portions of montana the rockies you get portions of like flagstaff and new mexico into california so a lot of snowfall a more local or a more regional look on that you're certainly seeing some significant totals that's 30 plus inches in those higher elevations, but a lot of spots, at least one foot um, in those middle range elevations, a lot up into British Columbia and yeah, big deal. Not much though east, nothing coming over the next couple of weeks. We'll talk about how warm it'll be there in a little bit, but another La Nina winter. So it's the pattern of warm air and high pressure, relatively speaking, into the far northern Pacific. And then you have those cooler waters more in towards the central Pacific, typically pushing colder and wetter conditions into like the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley at times and that kind of like battle zone area. So this is every La Nina since 1950 on the temperature side of things. And notice you get some big variations. You get some ones with major cold north, but major warmth just to the southeast. You get some that are just generally warm. You get some that are generally pretty cool. Um, and there could just be some big contrast. And then you get some that are warmth east, uh, cool west. So it definitely varies a little bit. With this being the third year La Nina, uh-oh, it's pretty challenging because we've only had two or three on record. This is a very rare thing, so you don't have much to go off of. But these are the La Nina conditions here, these colder than normal sea surface temperatures across the equatorial Pacific Ocean. You got the warmth further off. So th these create very pronounced ridges and troughs. And that's what we've seen as we've went throughout the fall time is just setting up in different spots. Not so much of the big temperature swings up and down, but sustained cool or sustained warmth across different regions. How does this normally translate with snowfall? Well, typically La Nina's have above average snowfall across the northern portion of the country by at least a little bit. Might not be too different this year. I think we'll get some moisture and some decent cold at times in through the northern plains, Midwest, Great Lakes at least. But there could be some challenges to this forecast. We're certainly gonna need a pattern flip for it to happen off across portions of the further east because it's going to be very warm over the course of the next 10 days or so but you got the cold battling here if that cold continues to clash then you have your snow zone or your big area of precipitation in the middle kind of between that cold and the warmth thanks so much for watching guys see you again next week